Hey, this is Damon from Windhill Growers once again. Today, we're gonna to show you how to make IMO3. So this is indigenous microorganisms and the third step in the line. So what we do now is we've already made this, uh, this IMO2, which is a liquid gel kind of concoction. It's got lots of sugar in it and our indigenous microorganisms. I'll check out our previous videos for all that information. Today, we're gonna to inoculate this uh, rice bran. We have rice bran. You can use wheat bran or any kind of cereal bran. Uh, you can get it like a feed store. This is nice organic rice bran. Do choose organic if you grow organically because you never know what's in it otherwise. We've got about 25 pounds of this. So we, we want a 500 to 1 dilution of the IMO into water. So that's going to be about 150 50 milliliters. Uh, and that's going to go into two gallons of water, so eight liters of water, which is going to be good for 25 pounds of rice bran. So we're going to first of all dilute our IMO in 500 to 1 water, and then we're going to mix up the water that's inoculated with the IMO into the bran. And we're gonna go for what's called field capacity. And we'll show you that. It's um, basically when you squeeze the material after you've added the water, you mix it up and when you squeeze it, a couple of drops should come out, but it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't be like soaked so that it's pouring out water, um, and it, but it should be enough so that when you squeeze it hard, a drop or two comes out. And we call that field capacity we use it for all kinds of things in growing. Um, and so for example, when you transplant plants, you want to get the soil to field capacity. And then when you put the plant in the soil, it's not going to be transplant shock. So that's getting pretty good. It's sort of like bread dough, honestly. Like, see, I didn't really squeeze this, but if I really squeeze it, uh, just a little bit of moisture comes out. So this is a little bit dry still, but you get that idea, right? So it's, uh, it doesn't necessarily spring right back and it's not soaking wet, but just enough so that it drips a little bit. But this stuff is pretty absorbent, so I think I'm gonna put a little more water in. Um, and that's the idea. So we've got our IMO3. We let this sit out a little uh, long and so it's great this this white stuff is the pseudomycelium that's the really the sort of the the goods that you're going for this greens uh, these greens are penicillium uh, so that's good too uh, same stuff you have in blue cheese or penicillin and then this black mold is uh, not quite as desirable uh, you don't want to breathe that but uh, it should be fine for our purposes It'd be fine to go in the garden so boom I, uh, a critter got some of our bran. Looks like they ate through the... <laughs> so we have mostly, like you see this on the top, that's the good stuff. And then further down, it's a lot less active. Um, and, but it smells really nice. It smells fermenty. Um, and basically that's a good guide in most of the Korean natural farming stuff. If it smells fermenty, sharp, tangy, like beer or, or that sort of thing, uh, it's good. And if it smells putrid, it's probably not good anymore. That's the wrong kind of bacteria, the wrong kind of indigenous microorganisms for our purposes. Um, so we're just going to mix this one to one with soil uh, and then saturate it again to field capacity. And this is a... This is some finished compost, uh, so this will be nice. Cool, so that's about one to one. So we're getting this to field capacity. Yeah, you can't take the water out, but you can always add more, so this nice and stirred up and it's a good idea to try to like you're not really trying to stir in 
your IMO completely. You still want that to be a little bit chunky. Yeah, it smells really interesting. It smells, uh, it's like the, the rice bran is fermenting. So it's uh, a nice kind of fermenty smell. So it's maybe still a teeny bit dry. Uh, just a little bit more water. So that's, that's a good fuel capacity. It stays stays solid when you squeeze it, but still kind of breaks up easily, it doesn't clump. And then cover, put it somewhere shady, and let it sit for a week, and you got IMO4. Check back in with us in a week. We're finally ready. This is our I am 04. It's, uh, it smells like compost now because we mixed it with the compost and it's super active. Um, so we can now either inoculate more soil, more compost with this, or uh, you can add it to your garden as is and uh, get all that micro life proliferating in your garden. It's also a fantastic compost starter. So if you have a compost pile that you're working on, or setting up, uh, this stuff is the bomb and is going to like accelerate that composting process and make sure you have a really, uh, a really solid compost product. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to put it in a spot in the greenhouse, we've actually taken some soil out of a bed and I'm gonna cover it with soil and then gradually incorporate it into uh, our greenhouse soil. Thanks so much for watching, uh, we appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe please. And uh, we'll see you next time.